Hello everyone. Today we are going to start here chapter one from biology, and we will be doing its part one here. And the name of the chapter is the fundamental unit of life. Okay. To understand about it, firstly we will be knowing that what is the meaning of fundamental. Fundamental means basic. Okay. So it means what is the basic unit of life and to understand about it we will be taking the help from the chemistry okay like in chemistry you all have studied that if we see uh, the matters okay so all the matters they are made up of the small identical units and the those units are known as the atoms what are they known as the atoms means matters matters smallest unit what is that that is atom okay so matters means they are non living and here we will be knowing about the fundamental unit of life life means about the living things okay so in living things so what is the fundamental unit of life so like about the living things we will be taking the example of a tree so tree is having a big structure okay so what is the smallest unit of this big structure so this structure smallest unit that is known as the cell so we can say that cell is the smallest unit okay which is also known as the basic unit of life so come and let's know about the discovery of cell so cell was discovered by a scientist and his name was robert hook and it was discovered in 1665 okay and what did robert hook do he saw the cells in the cork slices theek okay? hai when he see the cork slices in a microscope then what did he discover that the structure was looking like a honeycomb hai na and you can also see that small small compartments are there the structure was like this and you can see the compartments okay and so he gave it the name that was cell to so cell in latin cell means little room what does it mean it means little room and you can see that the structure is looking like a, like the little room so he gave it name the cell so now got it that cell was discovered by robert hook in 1665 and where did he find it he find it in the cork slices what are the, what is the cork cork is a part of a tree's bark okay what it is it is a bark of a tree theek okay? hai so and he discovered it in his self design microscope okay and this microscope was not so advanced and further later on the advanced microscope came up and that microscope was discovered by anton van leeuwenhoek okay in 1674 and other discoveries were made about the cell okay now let's know about the cell theory so what is cell theory and who gave the cell theory okay so in 18 38 it in 1838 okay mg schleiden was there hai na and in 1839 so both the scientist mg schleiden and t schwann they gave the cell theory and what is the what was it the cell theory is that all the living organism they are made up of the cell okay what what were the name of the scientist they were schleiden and schwann एस ये ठीक है श्लाइडिन एंड श्वान इन सो एटीन थर्टी नाइन इन एटीन थर्टी नाइन द गेव द थ्योरी दैट दैट इज सेल थ्योरी मीन्स ऑल द लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम दे आर मेड अप ऑफ द सेल एंड सेल इज द बेसिक यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ एंड फर्दर दिस सेल थ्योरी वॉज एक्सपेंडेड बाई अ साइंटिस्ट एंड हिज नेम वॉज विरचो तो विरचो सेट दैट द सेल्स मेड फ्रॉम द Three existing cells. Okay, so this was the expanded cell theory, and who gave it? It was given by Virchow in eighteen fifty-five. When did he give it? 
in 1855 okay now let's know about the types of organisms on the basis of cell number theek hai so uh, like uh, from the small classes you have been learning about the single cell animal uh, single cell organism also and you have been seen the uh, yeah you have been learning about the multicellular organism also so we can divide the organism on the basis of their number and the, there are two types of organism they are unicellular organisms and multicellular multicellular organisms so uni uni means single what does it mean what does uni mean uni means single cellular means cells theek okay? hai so the organisms which are made up of single cell they are known as the unicellular organism and the organism which are made up of more than one cell they are known as the multicellular organism so if the organism is made up of only one cell means the uh, size of the organism that will be too small that it can't be seen with our naked eyes so it means we will be using a microscope to see such kind of organism okay so they are the unicellular organism but if you take the example of the ostrich egg that is the largest single cell in the world okay and multicellular organism so many examples are there in unicellular uh, the examples you can take they are amoeba paramecium theek hai clamidomonas is there and in multicellular human beings are there plants are there theek hai so these are the examples they are known as the multicellular organism so now let's talk about the various cells in the human body also okay so different kinds of cells are there in human, human body hai na as we know if the organism if because human body is the example of multicellular organism theek hai and uh, if we talk about the unicellular to only single cell is there hai na to perform each uh, to perform each and every function in unicellular organism and in uh, various cells are found in human body for performing different kinds of functions okay like if we talk about the Uh, different kinds of cells in the human body so we can see a sperm cell is there the theek hai sperm cell theek hai or a fat cell you can say this shape of the fat cell is like this round hai na and uh, if we take the example of the ovum ovum the shape of the ovum is like this theek hai and uh, nerve cell is there nerve cell okay the shape of the nerve cell is like this so different you can see the different kinds of cells are having different kinds of shape means it also depends on the function that they perform in the size and shape of the organism uh, of the cells of the organism depends on the different kinds of functions they perform like if amoeba is there the amoeba is a single cell like so this cell it can change its shape any time but if we see the structure of a nerve cell okay so it is having a typical type of shape okay got it it is ovum and this is a nerve cell okay and you can see that this is a fat cell theek hai so these are the various cells in human body and you should also know that ovum is the largest cell of human body nerve cell is the longest cell okay and sperm cell is the smallest cell of the human body okay and this is the example of amoeba it is not a part of human body <laughs> it is a single cell animal or organism okay and 
so we will see that cell is called the structural and functional unit of body why is it so structural means the structure of the body hai na so because kya hai ki the structure of the body that is made up of the cell hai na so that's why it is known as the structural unit of body and functional unit also because different kinds of cells perform different kind of functions theek hai in a body so that's why it is also known as the functional unit of body theek hai and like different kinds of function means uh, if we talk about the human body different kinds of parts human uh, different kind of body parts are there to perform different kinds of function okay like uh, uh, heart is there that will pump the blood hai na and uh, stomach to digest the food and kidney lungs for excretion theek hai yes lungs also for excretion because they excrete the carbon dioxide from our body okay so you can say that that is why the cell is called the structural and functional unit of body what is division of labor division of labor means uh, you can say the division you can see the division of labor in uh, multicellular organism hai na and similarly it is also can be seen in the unicellular organism division of labor means that uh, uh, like in multicellular organism different kinds of cells will be performing different kinds of functions okay or now i am also having some homework questions for you all like first question is who discovered the cell and how second question is why is cell called the structural and functional unit of body third one is define unicellular and multicellular organisms with the help of examples fourth question is who presented the cell theory and fifth one is name the largest smallest and longest cells of human body